Welcome to the Experimental Mathematics Seminar of Rutgers University. Today's speaker is Tufik Mansho, one of the most prolific enumerators, as I know, who will talk on Stanley Wilf limit of the pattern 1324. As usual, please mute yourself unless you have a question, and I'm sure Tufik will be there to answer any question that you have. And then, as usual, unmute yourself and then uh, ask your questions and we'll say that. Go ahead, Tufi. It's my pleasure to be here, especially to meet the room and all of you. Yes, I will talk about 1324, the hard problem in enumerative uh, combinatorics, which is related to permutation patterns. Yeah, actually, let me tell you a small story. This paper started in 1999. That means 22 years ago. And in just one year before this talk. So first I will say what I suppose everyone knows this. If I have a permutation by of length S in, and I have another permutation of length M, Usually I ask M less than M, otherwise not interesting. So I will say there is equivalence of tau in by. If there is subsequence I1, I2, IM between one and N, such that the entries in these positions are order isomorphic to tau. Okay, I will denote this number of occurrences of tau in by, by number tau of by. And uh, if I will denote this number of permutations with R occurrences of tau by if tau R n. Usually people restricted themselves to R equals zero. When R equals zero, I will call this avoiding. When R at least one, then means counting Pattern tau in permutations. So for, for notation, if r equals zero, I just write if tau. Okay. I did that quickly. If they're not understanding about permutation patterns, just ask me. This avoiding and continue. Okay, about, about the conjecture. Uh, Markus and Tardush solved the conjecture that the number of permutations that avoiding a fixed battery tau is at most constant times n, okay? A power n for some constant depends on tau. So the next question it will be if the limit, the growth limit of f tau n power one over n is exist, then is done by Arita, L tau is exist, L tau is this limit, exist and we know. So the third question, can we calculate this limit? So just I will say L tau is if tau, that means when we avoid, we know L tau is exist. By my work with my co rivals we found this limit is exactly the same limit for any R, for any fixed R. That means containing R, uh, tau once or containing 100, it, the limit is going to the same number, L tau. Knuth is proved L tau is four for any tau of length three. So for if I taking Patterns of line four, we have three cases, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, two, and one, three, two, four. So about one, two, three, four is done in 80s by Regev. And Bona did that for one, three, four, two, and show it it is eight. So one, three, two, four is still open, already still open. That means we're talking about the second step. What about Patterns of line is five. It's more and more of any questions there. So here it is the first question that make the, our research in permutation patterns more interesting. 
you can see. And the best known bounds are between 10.271 and 13.5. So what is the goal of this talk? I will show a procedure how to find the lower bound. If we have very strong computer, I can say I have very good lower bound. Depends what means strong computer. I will say more about that later. So the goal, I will define this, this general function, Tx. So if one, three, two, four, that means number of permutation that avoid one, three, two, four of length in. So it's ordinary generative function. So the question, how to find this generative function? Actually, I will find a formula for this generative function in terms of another generative functions. And this is the first time that can be expressed this generative function by this. To do this, I need some, something from my BHD actually, because that I said it's 1999. Okay, first I will say some notation. Cn is Catalan number. Cx is the general function for Catalan numbers. I will say, uh, I will define dn. What is dn? Is the, number, is the set of permutation that avoid one, three, two, four, but contains one, three, two, at least once. So we have one occurrence of one, three, two, at least, and avoid one, three, two, four. So it's easy to see what is the cardinality of dn is number of permutation that avoid one, three, two, four minus Catalan numbers. And here I define d0, d1, d2 is equal zero, and dn at least one for any n at least three. If it's fast, just tell me. Okay, so I here it is the the trick, the most interesting trick in this. In this talk, I will define some graph that I will use it to to decompose the set D N to small sets that kind I enumerate. Okay, to any given permutation in dn, just to remind you, dn is the set that avoid one, three, two, four, and contains at least one, three, two. I will take a graph, do side graph, that have two sets of vertices. One set is the, just the letters from one to n, and another set is the occurrences of one, three, two. That means, subsequences of the three letters in by that each subsequence is ordered as homomorphic to one, three, two. And here in example, let us say here, just five, seven, four, six, one, three, two, where the mouse five, seven, four, six, one, three, two, I put it here. There are two occurrences, one, five, seven, six, one, three, two, and I connected them for example, I want connected to one, three, two, because one, it exists in the occurrences of one, three, two. Two also, and three, five, six, seven are related to occurrences five, seven, six. The same in the red, the red permutation, five, seven, three, six, one, four, two, have three occurrences, and I make edge between the letters and the occurrence if it contains in the occurrences. So for definition, just here it is, a vertex J in V is connected by an edge to an occurrences ABC, if J related to ABC. So I define G by tilde, B connected component of G by, such that N is a letter in the vertices set. It's very important. That means I look into the N. And then I, I say, if I related connected component to this case, for example, here, 
in the black, we see seven is the maximum is n in this case, and we have five seven six related to five six seven. That means the connected component is five six seven, and the letter is five six seven. And here we have one component in the red. So okay. Now we do need the set of all kernel ships, which mean kernel ships in Dn by Kn, it's Kn by its kernel ship, which mean kernel ships, let this back. Here it is. We call G by maxima if V tilde is all the letters. In this context, if this is the case, by is called a kernel ship. Kernel ships, again, it's it's if we draw the graph, it's connected. So in this case, I call kernel ship. Okay, so we have kernel ships in Dn by Kn. Kn is by in Dn such that by is kernel. For example, K3, there are one case. One, two, three have all the three letters have no one, three, two, unless one, three, two. So we have one core case, very simple. K4, we have the following cases. One, two, four, three, one, three, four, two, one, four, two, three, and so on. We have five cases. So one question, can we enumerate Kn? Actually, to enumerate Kn, it's the same difficulty to enumerate one, three, two, four. We will see this. Moreover, we say that the permutation by that avoid one, three, two, four has a kernel if lambda, if the vertices of V tilde in G, the graph, form a subsequence in by that is order isomorphic to lambda. And the number of vert and the number of letters in V tilde is exactly M, which is the length of lambda. For example, five, seven, the red one, five, seven, four, six, one, three, here it is. So what is the lambda here is one, three, two. Why one, three, two? Because five, seven, six, only five, six, seven, six, because it's the connected and the maximum one. And in the red one, uh, the blue one, five, seven, three, six, one, four, we have one complete connected, that means the kernel, the permutation itself. So five, seven, three, six, one, four, two, it's kernel. Okay. So now let me go to somewhere else. Here it is. So suppose we have this kernel. Okay, the kernel shape. Three, five, six, one, four, two. I draw a matrix. Remember, six is play the rule of n. That means I can say this is maximum, maximum letter here. So that means in, in this here, there are nothing. There are no letter bigger than maximum letter. In this book is there are nothing. So I draw a matrix that divide where my letters appears. Remember, kernel shapes is a part of a big permutation. Because I said, this is the maximal connected component in the permutation. So there are other entries. So where these other entries, this is the question. So this is called cell decomposition. Cell decomposition, that means I need to know where the other entries are involved in this matrix. So let us say, can be a letter here, for example, in this box, if there are a letter, then I have one, three, two. It's not possible because kernel shape is maximum. So it's not possible here. Again, not here, not here. Also here, not possible because one, three, two. One, three, two, 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 and here it's possible because there are no one, three, two. Here it's possible. There are no one, three, two. Here it's possible 
no one three two here also it's possible so here not possible one three two nothing 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 i can say let us say this here nothing one three two one three two here it's it's possible maybe here one three two one three two here one three two one three two not possible so i can remove all the cells that i make one three two after i removing for example here not possible not possible not possible here not possible not possible here it's possible here not possible not possible okay now let us back to this case one here here let us suppose there is two letters here in this cell let us say the lead there are a letter is here so it's possible to be a letter on the left side here not possible because one three two so it's we said it's good that means it should be the letters here and but here not nothing so let us look where the possible cases this box this box or this box and here again the box here oh what we found there is a linear order in the cell decompositions that means the cells that could be involved some letters in fermentation are ordered in decreasing order from left to right and this is amazing that means we can make some order that means i can multiply generated functions let us back to the now to the case okay for any permutation that avoid one three two four within at least one we define lambda cell decomposition as i define so here it is in the case we have no occurrence of one three two it's easy this is the maximal letter all the lift are bigger than all the right so in this case i define k2 is one k2 is one just this definition notation just to make it's possible to write nice equation at the end for in at least three and lambda is kernel shape i define the cells so this is not important remember i make matrix and i define the cell c11 c12 c13 c14 and so on so it's just notation and definitions i don't want to read it but remember i have kernel shape and i make matrix and i remove all the cells not possible come to something any cells that can involve any letter called visible set visible cell so visible cell it's possible to to put some letters inside invisible that means you cannot put some letter inside so we have so we have visible cells and invisible cells okay for example here it is let us take a permutation 10 11 7 8 12 9 in avoiding 1 3 2 4 kernel ship is 1 2 4 3 1 2 4 3 if i put the the cells i see we have three cells c41 c14 and c15 and if i put all the other entries that not involved with s1 2 4 3 i will see two points here another two points in another cells and four points here that means the visible cells are c41 is 10 11 six five and one five is four one three two okay now so so for any lambda i define d lambda n what is d lambda n is all the permutation that avoid one three two such that the kernel ships of pi equals lambda and d1 
I defined it as for the case, the trivial case, the permutation is avoid one free two. While I do it, it's one cell decomposition. So my first, from this construction, I see is n one three two four is union from n at least two of all kernel shapes in k lambda, k m. So that means I decompose this set to union of another sets of permutations. So to enumerate this n one three two, I need to enumerate d lambda n. But what two we big. can say and about it. Yeah, and topic, how big is the set a capital um, K of M? Don't worry, you will see. Okay. Okay, we will see. I promise to. Again, as we saw from this, all the cells, these cells, the boxes here, rectangles, are in increasing order. Back to this, this I formulated by theorem any permutation in D lambda N, all the cells, you see, any letter in CJ is on the left side of any letter of CJ plus one. Any letter of CJ is greater than any letter of CJ plus one. That means linear order, decreasing order from left to right. And the contains of CJ for any cells, that is not the rightmost is avoid 132. Ooh, and when we avoid 132, it's very easy, it's Catalan numbers. And the last cell is 1324. Because why, be, why this? Because let us see. If we avoid 1324, there is a dot here. That means a letter bigger than this cell. That means this should be avoid 132. But this cells, there's nothing on its right. So it should be avoid 1324. Backing. I say number of the cells is the capacity of lambda. How many cells inside? Okay. And here is the example, backing to 1T324. This, so the capacity is a three. We have three cells. This avoid 132, this avoid 132, but the last cell on the right is avoid 1324. So remember, we need Tx and we know Cx. And so I define generic function D lambda, which is the generic function of all the permutations that avoid 1324 with kernel shape lambda. And from my definitions of cells, D lambda, what is? M minus delta N equal to, this is the particular case. Let us forget it from equal to. So D lambda is kernel shapes of M letters. So XM, we have M letters. All the cells avoid one, three, two, not the last one. So because that the capacity minus one. And the last one is avoid 132 Tx. So thus Tx is equal one plus sum of all these cases, one for the empty permutation, which leads to this formula, Tx equal this one. One minus x Cx minus what we have here. So that means we have formula for the general function. But what is the problem? There is a problem always. What is Km? Km, it's, it's a peer, it's huge. But let us say how I will use theorem two. Theorem two, it's, that means Tx at least, that means what you mean general function is at least general function. That means each entry of T, each coefficient of Tx of Xn is greater or equal the coefficient of x n in r m zero of x. And r m zero, that means I just cut this sum, this double sum up from m equal three, three to m zero. Just I don't look to all of them. Okay, the, in, the, the internal sum 
I called it TM. TM, it's the sum over lambda uh, in Kn of this of the Catalan J function power something. Okay. So uh, if I do some so, some some uh, refining of the TMX, so I just to fix the power of the JN function as a J, I will see the JN function RM0, this one can be have this form, A0 plus A1 square root of one minus four X over A2, where A0, A1 and A2 are polynomials in X, actually integer polynomials. And here an example. Let us take k equal three, one, three, two. Here one, three, two. I do, do the matrix, make the cell decompositions. One, two, three cells. So this avoid one, three, two. This avoid one, three, two. So C two x. Catalan numbers twice, and this forty x. If I move, then R three is just one over one minus x C x minus x three C two. If I do the isomptotics, then I get uh, the coefficient of xn and r 3x. It's exactly this. If I do k4, we have four, five cases. Here it is, the five cases. I draw them. Then t4 is exactly this formula. Then I do tx at least r4, which leaves the limit of this, the coefficient of x in and r4, it's at least this. Oh, that means the lower bound of t of number of permutation that avoid one, three, two, four is at least this. That means L one, three, four, two is greater or equal to this. Okay, we are still long story to arrive to what is now. Okay, the limit here it is exist. And we know alpha n, at least alpha n plus one. That means alpha n is increasing. Uh, decreasing, sorry. Decreasing, that means alpha n minus one is increasing. So, and here it is the theorem that saying L1324 at least alpha n minus one. And we need n let us say, greater as possible. Here, another topic, which is called generic trees, but let us forget it from generic trees. Why we need generic trees? I need, I arrive to a, I need to program this. So how I can I program such kernel shapes? So I found the generic trees, the tools of the generic trees is, the best way to, to code C++ program to get faster results. So I tried my computer at home. It's take for me to scan the limitation of length 15 by one second, which is very surprising to me. That means my program is the best as I know. So I said, let us try 17. Then it's take three days. So that means my program fell shut down. So I have if, if 17 and I need 25 or 30 or 50. So I said, okay, I need another guy that can help me in barrel programming. So my co-author Christian, uh, help me to write the program and to be uh, applied to run it to in several microprocessors in the same time. And the idea actually generic trees, I want to explain this. Let us forget it from generic trees, the, the algorithm, and let us return to what the program gives. Okay, it was long story. The story is started by I need big computer, fast computer. I don't need memory. Memory, it's about less as much as possible. 
because generic trees, I need to remember very little. I need to remember only the number of the cells in for each permutation. That means it's big array, but array of integers. So it's not big deal. Then I started to ask people, I asked Doron, actually, he mentioned some names. I just emailed these names. Some people say no, some people try to help me and others just say, I have nothing to say. Most of the people that said yes, they didn't advise me what I should do because they used big computers, but they didn't allow me to use the same big computer. So in my faculty, there is a computer called Hive. It's about uh, 1,000 microprocessors. I cannot use all of the other 1,000, it's not allowed, because there is biology, chemistry, physics, not only math. So I used as possible. So I run it about 1,000 a day, 1,000 a day, and I get results. Here it is, the genre M and TM, each case, and as we see, it's grow slowly. And for each case, I have the genre function. For example, 12, what's meaning? I know the genre function for the number of permutation, avoiding one, three, two, four, and I scan all the kernel, kernel ships, and I put the cells, and I found this linear function. And you see, Doron, the numbers are increasing, but it's very nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You can guess the next one, 11. 9, 20, 35, 65, 103, 154 and so on, you can guess the next one. So in each column, you can guess. There's some formula in general, but I failed to guess the general one. And here, 13, 14, 15, and so on. And you see the numbers, it's grow very fast. Actually, I think, the KM, it's grow S1324 grow. Okay, and then- Terrific for the leading terms after. So yeah. of course, the leading term is easy. So the next one is a quadratic. You yes. Have, and so you have for the few leading terms, you have explicit expressions. I have explicit formula for the leading coefficients and the next one and next one let us say the the biggest five terms uh, okay I, this is not the whole table i have up to 25. Uh, wow thank you so and as you see the numbers of c2 is very important c2 the the, the smallest co co uh, of the power of the general function uh, Catalan. So this is, it's very big number. So I tried to find it. So I characterized what it is, but it's not easy to write it. It's very technical. And actually the referee didn't like it, let us say. Because it's like five pages of analytical things and the recurrences, no one going to read it. Okay, anyway, so what is was in my, this, in this step for me, it was like a way I need to, to go in, in, in some, some way to find something. One way it was to find more and more M to this a formula in general, and then to prove it. Actually, the induction does not help me. So if I want to find more M or more general function, only to improve the lower bound. So I emailed Microsoft 
and I emailed Google. Hopefully they will help me. They say both. Google say no, and Microsoft say I need money. How much money? For each one hour, it's like $1,000 to use huge microprocessors. So I have not such money. So I forget this. Another way, okay, let us say what is PMX? Can we say something about PMX? Oh, if I want to say something about PMX, let us back to the definition of PMX. Definition, definition, back, 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 here it is. TMX, where it is, here it is. This is the definition of TMX. It's sum over lambda and KMC. That means if I know how to generate TM, then I know how to generate TM. So what I see, if I want to generate KM, K, KM plus one from KM, it's not easy problem. Actually, I also I failed to, to do that. So, but I know how to generate KM plus one from KM by seven ways. That means for any kernel method in KM, I can generate seven different kernel method from this. Okay, that means TMX plus one, it, it's, it, it's at least seven times TMX in some sense. So if I know this and I use this relation, general function bigger than another general function, O, and here I can put minus, instead here, I can put M equal three to 90, then 20 is bigger than seven times of another one. So I will get here one over one minus seven X. So, and then the lower bound that we saw it in the table here, 5.440, it's in increases to 7.66. So we arrived to 7.66 actually now, after I submitted the paper, and I said, let us forget from this because I, I need computer at the end. Uh, I arrived to 7.81. So it's far away from 10.271. So uh, one guy that I asked him, he said, okay, it's crazy. It's crazy that you find something and you cannot use it because you don't have computers. Then I asked it someone that helped to find the 10.271, the lower, the, the now lower bound for 1324. He said, oh, I am in health condition. I cannot help you for the next two years. This make the story it's in, but I in my faculty is still running already 1,300 days. So still running. So maybe in uh, the Druze community say in mixed generation. So maybe in mixed generation, we will know. Okay, let's say what about 132. Thanks for attention. And please unmute yourself and thank Tupi. This is perfect for this seminar. Very, very experimental. And regardless of how far you would go, the approach is really beautiful. So uh, are there any questions to Tupi? Tupi, I have a question. Uh, yes. I have a question. Um, I missed why um, your algorithm led to finding the lower bound instead of the upper bound. I think it's probably I missed the definition of alpha or something. Here it is. Hit us back to this one. You see this formula, Tx at least Rm0x? 
That means the coefficient of x n here is at least the coefficient of x n here. So suppose we know the coefficient of r m x zero. That means if I take the limit, so it's it's bound bound from lower of the coefficient of t x, and t x the coefficient is l tau at the end. Yes. I got it. I got it. I, I missed that when you were speaking that I missed that one. Thank oh. you. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, so the topic this uh, says a capital case of M. Yes. Do you know how uh, the sequence, the number of elements in case capital case of M? Yes, it's easy. Back the table. You see? In K5, for example, we have 3 plus 9 plus 13. Uh, 3 plus 9 plus 13. Okay. okay. The sum of the elements. So 12, it's 25. 24, 24, uh, 91, 3, 5. So is that sequence in the IIS? No, no. It should be. No, I checked that. Okay. Of course, I should check this. <laughs> Otherwise, my my friend Jeff Jeffrey, tell me. <laughs> Tufik, I have a question about this table here. Yes. So the leading coefficients are obviously linear. Yes. And Doctor Z asked, but I, maybe I didn't catch your answer. The second column—that's not just a quadratic, is it? Yes. Nine it is. D thirty-eight. So there are there just polynomials at every step? Yeah, it's polynomial. Okay. And you still weren't able to guess the, the general, like, you know, the coefficient on C2 is no, still too complicated. I, I didn't successful to guess. So it's, mm -hmm. this is a linear, and this also a, like power polynomial of order three, hmm. degree three, and degree five seem to me, I'm something, something here. Done. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but I didn't successful to this. Hmm. So you have conjectures. Actually, for the I used I used G fun. So you have a conjecture for the first few leading terms. Yeah, and this helped me to improve the lower bound a little bit. But this not the using about the structure of KM. It's helpful more because when I generate T M plus one from Tm by seven times, this helped me. Actually, I believe I can write a proof that to generate Tm plus one from uh, Km plus one from Km by 11, by 11. If M at least 100, but the proof is very technical, very tough. Up to now, I did not successful to write all the details. So, but it's, if it's 11, then I get lower bound better than 10.271. So but you hope to beat the yeah, current yeah, lower bound. Yeah. But so it, far, it, you don't have a big enough computer, right? But hopefully you can beat yeah, it. Hopefully. Well, regarding the computer, so you wrote this in C++, I guess, and run it on the CPU. Uh, I am I am know a lot of languages more than uh, English and Arabic and Hebrew, <laughs> so I can program in more than fifty languages. Sure, but did, did you run it on a? It's the best. <laughs> yeah, but can you? But you can run it on a graphics card because you said this is very easily parallelizable. Yeah, but the graphic cards it doesn't help. Oh, I see. The graphic card it doesn't help. I use the graphic card besides other things. So I used in the same times 150 processors. Mm -hmm. So if I am I available to use all the processors, my program can use up to 32,000 processors, processors in the same times. Right, so, but you're running it on a cluster on the university, so that's yeah. probably quicker yes. than a desktop. Actually, okay, yeah. Hive is more than this. Hive more than this. You can read about Hive from yeah. the web page of Haifa, but 
uh, it's not enough good like maybe, Google or Microsoft. Maybe you should uh, run and generate some bitcoins and buy a better computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 Ophi, there question. is a question in the chat. In chat, let me see. Yeah. Uh, wait, I have oh, I, I arrived to chat. Uh, at the bottom of your screen. Uh, chat. Click on that. Uh, I uh, because I see the images. Okay, now I see the chat. Wait, here it is. Yes. You did the computation up to n equal 24. For which n do you think the lower bound of 10.71 will be improved? Actually, my guess, if it's I look to the lower bounds, how it's grow, it's grow slowly. So if I want to improve 10.71, I need 55. But, but I don't use Km plus one at least seven times Km or 11 times of Km or 10 times of Km. I just used the procedure as written in the paper, nothing else. So if I don't use anything else, I need 55. If I use something else, I need less. I see. And uh, do you believe that the true growth rate is 11.6? Uh, is... I believe I believe it's around 12. Any more questions for Tufik? Any idea, Tufik, on why you believe for 12? I said um, around 12. What I believe in this actually, because I believe that Km plus one is at least 11 times of Km. And by using the formula that I wrote one over one minus X Catalan numbers minus something have a bool of 11, one over 11, then if it's you connect all together, it's about 12, I don't say it's not, I cannot say something exactly, but I guess it's around 12. Any more questions for Tufi? Well, let's thank Tufi again for a very experimental and fascinating talk. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. We will finish this session. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next bye -bye. week. I hope. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, Doctor Z. Yeah, thanks for coming. Great talk, Doctor Z. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.